Hello, everybody. Welcome back to LA Noir. Here we are. Here we are again. Last time we played the Gold Butterfly case and blamed the pedo Kitty Diddler for his for his crimes. Even though it was probably the husband. Nobody knows. All right, resume. We're on the silk stocking murder now. Um, yeah, we're on the silk stocking murder. Uh, and let's uh, let's go ahead and see the this play out. Mirror, press, diner. Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Finbar. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps yep. is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA ah. couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, Over the moon, boy! Go out there and catch me another sinner. Yes, sir. All right. Richer, cleaner, and bolder. Cigarettes. They don't kill you. All right. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to run a case so close to the desk. Yeah. Whew. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Yo! Oh my god! It's wild! The guy hit me and everything came undone. All right. All right. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. This is a creepy looking one. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. All right. Cuts to the face. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Yeah, and the neck's really torn up. She's really added out on the neck. Like, somebody was, like, pulling her head off. 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Oh, she was born seven days before me. In 1926, of course. I was born in 1926. Y'all should know this. The, uh... The Another gloving. ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. See, now that's a, that's what it, that's what a degloving looks like right there. Ugh. Awful, awful. <laughs> you get that, uh, you get that shit in machinery, deglovings. You get that kind of shit in, in, uh, in, uh, machinery. You, uh, get a finger in there, it just, whoop, pulls everything right off. Kiss the blood. Kiss BD. the blood. BD. Black Dahlia. The, the evidence in the Mueller there. case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, yeah, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. 
Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. I mean, but also, you also have to think of another thing. There's one... There is there is something that this doesn't have in common. I mean... Dahlia had her mouth cut. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Yeah, Phelps, just play with it. Whoop! <laughs> Whoop! Cigarettes. So soft. What are these? Oh, they're tissues. Ah! So soft. Got some beer bottles. Some wine bottle. Probably in some, some good old, some good old Tyler's bourbon whiskey. <laughs> three grade, three barrel, three grade, super grade, tons of grades. Got a ton of blood over here. Fellas, you'll want to come and take a look at this. Huge trail of blood. May as well follow the trail. Hat. Antonia. Antonia. Huh. Same as a library card. Well, it's her hat. But the blood trail continues this way. Continuing all the way up to here. Takes a curve. It goes this way. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Nothing there. A key. A fire. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Almost like that's what that is. All right, so the blood continues further this way. And there is a piece of paper. That's got to be a code. Two, five, two, five, three. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Blood, bloody handprint up to the ladder. Where are you taking us? Well, I guess we're going to climb Take the it. ladder, shall we? Faster, Cole! Like an Olympian. Blood leads all the way down there, but a Maldonado. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you. Or he might just be getting more confident. Hammer. No blood on it, though, so... Flyers. No blood.
All right, well, then let's go this way. Follow the blood. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Up the pipe. The trail points up. finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Got the ring. Looking back over here. Guess we just keep following the blood up. Paintbrush covered in blood. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. We got the purse. The other half of the library card. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Okay. There we go. All right, so we go to the residence. Catch up. All right. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Oh my God, here we go him? again. We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Yo, I'm flying through. Oh, shit, I missed my turn. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought I was still had, I still had, pl I still had uh, a lot to go. Just speeding up the road. Well. No pets allowed. Please see housekeeper within for vacancies. Rooms are 35 cents? Yo, sign me up. Wait just a moment. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. What Why nice... Why did you come in, detectives? It's this way. Nice lady. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. All right. Oh. Oh. What have we got here? Picture of uh, Mary. 
What are we waiting for? Nothing. Let me just fucking, you know, calm the fuck down. Oh Did shit! Look at that. Someone's turned the place over. A smashed oh, shit. window explains why the place looks tossed. Iron picket, broken window. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Okay. Piece of paper. Miss Antonia Isabel Maldonado. Uh, CO Parsons Boarding House. Antonia, further to my previous correspondence on August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. I am told that your husband, Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at 304-330 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, has been served with the official papers as on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Though it is not essential and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. She's getting a divorce. Okay, we have an address. My experience, a woman's plaintiff presence in cases like this can do much to influence proceedings. If your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me uh, is likely, then it can only help our chances. So she was serving him with divorce papers. What do we got here? Ring, charm but also a charm bracelet. I'm seeing evidence. It's very true. Well, we got all the evidence. So now we can head back downstairs and talk to this lady. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Possible subjects. Any idea Suspects. Who might have subjects. To hurt Mrs. Maldonado. That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being <laughs> flippant, young man? No, ma'am. Ah! No, ma'am. Yeah, she doesn't look like she's lying. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. Movements of the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. I think you do. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. I think you do know. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the Jesus. people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Evidence of the break-in. Had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Come on. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. There's a broken window upstairs. You obviously had to have heard it. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. <laughs> It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Uh, you should probably stop lying then. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. No. No, the charm bracelet. bracelet. I don't know anything about it. Bracelet. You're a liar. We have the photograph. 
In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been Good. very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the Eldorado bar. Well, I think it'd be a good idea if we went and picked up Angel first. Because then... You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Uh, because then uh, we can pick him up so he doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't try to... Skip town. I know the old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. <laughs> Rusty likes... <laughs> like the way that we talk to her. He's very like... Women can't do nothing. Bunch of dumbass broads, if you ask me. Uh, 304. Aldonado is in apartment 304. Right. Is there a oh my god. Why can't there just be a fucking elevator? Phelps, well, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Uh oh, watch the other guy. I got a hundred pounds on your wife. Now. Stand down now. What do you think, Joe Lewis? Damn it. Fuck down, bitch. God damn, Rusty, you got knocked the fuck out, bro. No, no, this is my fight. You had your chance, Rusty. You fucked up. Yeah, there we go. All right, both they asses damn. out. They got some decent shots in there. No shit, you got your ass kicked. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, goddammit! You think I could kill my own wife? I mean, I'm not saying it. Rusty is. The whole place is going over. Then talk to the neighbors. Alright. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> yes, sir. Not sure this means much. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Nothing out on the balcony. All right. Let's see here. There's a plate of food on the bed. God damn it! Move it, Rusty. You fucking bastard. Nothing. Okay. No. No. Once again, two plates. There's a beer there. Just picked fruit market. Oh. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Bottles of wine. 
El Dorado Bar, of course. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Okay. Shirt's got this some will take blood some on it. All right. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. All right, well, let's go talk to every door if we have to, I guess. No good. Nobody here. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry about that. I I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. All right. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. <sighs> we'll be in touch. Well then, all right. I kept thinking you were gonna call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Ah! Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Oh, he knows how to get under his skin now. Executing restraint right now, Finbar. All right. Rusty, you're driving. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? We're going to the El Dorado Bar. Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Why can't I answer the radio? The hired help at the old bottom might have seen the guy and might have died. Maybe the regulars, too. You should check it out. KGPL, Levin King, over. 11K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. Oh, boy. 11K, en route. Guess we're coming back here first. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Downstairs. All right, well, let's check out the outfits, because I... The Outsider, Sword of Justice, Patrol, Golden Boy, Sunset Strip, the Broderick, the Sharpshooter. Okay, I got, so I got the Outsider. And we'll change back to Sword of Justice. Next time. How do we get downstairs, Rusty? I've never been there. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. Ha! I want to shoot him and kill him in one hit. Fuck two. So we're going in here. Boys, come on in. Fellas. What do we got? Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? 
That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. I've changed my mind. You would That's not nice give me a square case. deal. Fuck you, BD. Tex. Keep upon thy my soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then be thou damned, beholding good, both infinite as is the universe, and thou and thy self-torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though now, uh, though now thou s sittest, let the hour come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally, and after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. All right. We'll talk to Angel. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. <laughs> you think those vice boys get any on the side? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. I mean, last contact. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Well, you're lying, Angel. The you neighbor. Went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. You did go after her. We know because the the neighbor lady saw you. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing. That your wife ran out. That you followed her and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right. But she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. Okay. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Yeah, you were. You got served papers. We have a letter from the attorney saying you were you, served. Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Well, where is it? Where's my attorney letter? There it is. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What the piss does that make? Oh boy. When we found her taken wife, from the body. her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. I mean... He's telling the truth. What about the charm bracelet? 
Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Bloodstained shirt. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Yeah, it's a lot of blood. I Angel, to... I'm not going to waste any more time <laughs> on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last hmm? question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Yeah, I don't think he's the killer. All right. Finbar. You drive. I need to go let's, over the case notes. Let's go to the El Dorado bar, Bye. shall we? Where are we headed? That's where we originally headed uh, before we had to come back. So... We'll head you there. Don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Starts mouth enough, a guy gives her a good old smack across the mouth. Well, look at this fucking hole in the wall. What can I get you? LAPD. Question, Detective bitch. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You can answer some questions, bud. You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. But what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> do you know her well? Is she a regular? I love his reaction. Hell no. Oh, shit. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Oh, shit. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Oh, well, there's the divorce papers. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Yep. On the grounds of cruelty. All right, missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. I don't think you know, buddy. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. Fruit she market across the street. <laughs> Movements of victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. <laughs> if you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. I think he's telling the truth. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. 
Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Well, thank God he's not the killer. So, uh, I'm just going to ask everybody. Tuna fish. Your tuna fish salad. Oh, what he calls it that. People just say tuna salad. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Wait, why is this crossed out? They are genuine. From here. Why is this crossed out? Hold up. A waitress. Can I have? Why is this not? Sir, do you work here? Sorry, oh. pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Huh. All right. What's well, the read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the right guy behind at the fruit us. market making eyes at his woman. Please. Now, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter. Oh no! Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Finbar. Just picked. Always fresh. Man, I wish I had a fruit market near my house. I love fruit. Oranges and kiwis and shit. Hey, there he is again. Hey, bud. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Oh, what do we got here? We got some watermelon. Oh, is that fucking kale? Wow, shit, man! No, it's 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 uh, it's uh, Swiss chard. <laughs> it's it's Swiss chard. You can tell because it's got the red stem. But still, oh, kale! What they knew? They were ahead of the game, bro. There's some uh, oranges, maybe, or mangoes, and then we got some shitty apples, <laughs> some avocados, some free shavakadoos, cantaloupes. Pineapple, pineapples, We've got some plumes, sweet juicy grapes. four pounds for 25 cents, that's fucking insane, apricots, oh, oh that's what they are, they're apricots, bananas, all of them look shitty, excuse me, um, watermelons, some more cantaloupes, some carrots, some limones. Is that corn? Yep, corn. Fresh ass corn. Oh, it's rhubarb. Oh my god. Well, Swiss chard is the exact same looking shit as rhubarb. Fuck out of here. It all looks the same. No, seriously. Swiss chard and rhubarb look like identical. I think. I'm probably right. Fresh eggs. That's Swiss chard. That's Swiss chair if I ever saw it. New... What does that mean, new potatoes? <laughs> These are the brand new potatoes! Have you had old potatoes? These are the new potatoes! Guaranteed to be even more potato-y! See, look, there's spinach in there. That doesn't even look like spinach. That looks like green-ass lettuce. Some onions. Which don't even look like onions. What else we got here? Ooh... Oh, fucking fancy eggplant. The, uh, aubergines. As they call them. Over, overseas. Aubergine. Oh. Well, it looks like that. Where's all the fucking oranges? Got pots, we got flowers. Awesome. 
Hello. Sir, I'm the... Wait. You look familiar. <laughs> hey. From the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. I don't think I am. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Hey, man, you need a license. Hey, shout out to the Kellogg's cornflakes behind this guy. Uh, contact with victim. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, you already gets... knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Obviously. Sure, I met her before. Bottles she in the apartment? like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Movements of the victim. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Which is the truth, because we know the brown, the brown whatever. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Yeah. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> you just said, yeah, sure you can, which means that now I don't need a warrant because you've given me, you've given me uh, authorization to go through your shit. Oh. I mean, I knew I was going to go to this door, but. Why did I kind of kick it open? Dang, that's a lot of bottles. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. <laughs> Check through this stuff before we get back out there. The odd bottle. This guy sells more than the odd bottle. Oh. Oh. Yep. Same kind of wine we found at the, uh, the apartment. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. Nope. Clues. The dot pattern note. Two, five, three... Two, five, three. Oh, what do you know? Seems we found her charm bracelet after all. Look, there's some blood in there. And a bloody tire iron. Oh, wait, no. The tire iron is clean. The scalpel sure ain't, though. I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! Where you run off to, buddy? Oh, shit, yeah, here we go. Oh, now you're really gonna get wrecked, bro. 
God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Woo! Lost your hat, Finbar. Damn, this guy's reckless. Should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, Woo! we didn't know he was our guy. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Strange that he gave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Damn, man. This guy's a fucking fast one. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Nice. Good job, Rusty. Get the fuck out of this truck. You're gonna arrest for murder, bruh. Murder one. Capital. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Yeah, it's fucking right. I got him. Outstanding job on this case. <laughs> Rusty. The poor woman can now rest in peace. God damn it, Rusty. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. See you later, boss. Yeah, see. <laughs> Everybody wants to know that uh, cut, right? <laughs> Bam! Just like that. All clues. All questions. A little bit of vehicle damage. A little bit of city damage. With the body on his doorstep, the DA may look to send Clem Feeney to the gas chamber. Boo! -boo, -boo! Fucking got him! Any cutscene or are we just going straight to the next one? Oh, got a cutscene. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggy? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Skodobus says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? <laughs> People are scared of me. Well, they're not scared of me, but. The white shoe slaying. That's next time. On Atlanta War, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all on the next part. Thank you, and goodbye.